Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Titans Black Cyrak figure. So what we're going to do with this video in a second, I'm going to attempt to unbox him live for you, show you the entire contents of the box. We're going to have a detailed look at him in all of his modes to see how you want to display him. We're going to do some comparisons with him and Titan Scorponok and we can even do a couple of comparisons with the original vintage Black Zarek as well. Now, as we can see here, this box, I really like this. I think this whole idea of the new generation selects like this, doing like a schematics or a blueprint of the figure is brilliant. And especially for something of this size, if it had been like the old generation selects box with just the, you know, the logos on, I don't think it would have gone down too well at all. There you can see is of course the new legacy logo. There's nothing on the back at all, really. Just a few lines, nothing going on there at all. And on the side, you've got the continuation of Black Zarek himself. Right then, so before we open up this box, I need to again thank Robot Recruits because that is where I pre-ordered this from. And as you can see by the condition of the box, they got this to me lovely and safely and completely undamaged, considering the size and weight of this thing. So let's attempt to do this then. Right, oh, we've got the lovely legacy logo again there. And as you can see, wow, I've not seen this yet. I've not seen anything like this yet. That is beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's just sellotape. I was wondering if it was like a poster or something, but it's not. That's obviously his head. There's the legacy logo. Let's see if I can carefully now. We've got the new legacy colors again for the instruction sheet. And if I can turn this carefully on the side, you can see what we've got to deal with. So what I'm going to do now, especially with my look before this guy falls out, I'm going to take him out of the box and we'll have a look at everything that's coming inside here. Okay, so as you can see, I've set him free from the packaging and you could probably also make out here on the step, there's loads of accessories for him as well, which we've got to build up and attach to him ourselves. So we might as well start with this absolutely amazing trident. So we've got the bottom piece here. We've then got one part of this. So I'm hoping that I get this right as I do it because of course I've got no practice at this whatsoever. I'm just gonna build it up as to how I think from memory it looked on the pictures and is it going to fit yep and there we go so there is the trident i don't know if i can put it into perspective how big that is i'm just going to rest this here for now we've also got the little head that comes with him and of course this is going to go into the main head there for zarek we can pop him in there and then attach the head so we can start to see how this guy is going to start to take shape in a second i'm probably gonna to have to pan out again a little bit more maybe in a second we've got the large blasters these have got the dowel there this is going to fit and in true black sarek style putting them upwards it just looks amazing i think the black works brilliant i'm so pleased obviously well i'm pretty sure we're not gonna have any issues with uh, gold plastic syndrome let's just turn these claws around so we can see that he's starting to take some sort of shape now all right we've also got the shield and we've got the bit this is going to fit onto the back of the head but what i need to do first and foremost is still one more giant piece that comes with this and that is the back so this here you can see you've got a cut out or two cutouts, shall we say, there and there. What we need to do with this is fold this down. And what we can do is slot this into position. I'm hoping you can see this like that. So you've heard it click. Now you can bring this upwards. What I should have showed you, to be honest, is the two cutouts there. And there's two tabs um, either side of this. So if we fold this up now, and then we can click this all into position and i'm just going to now attach i'll attach the shield on a spinning round but that is pretty much let's get the shield there's the two tabs there 
and of course we can put this on the back of the forearm and we can take the giant trident for now and all i'm going to do quickly is just balance this in here i'm sure there's a correct way but for now i just want to balance it in there to give you an idea of what he's looking like so far so first impressions which is obviously what i like to do let's fold the feet down as well oh i think he looks stunning as i'm sure you'll agree let me just bring this back up i'm not going to spend too much time with the articulation because it's a giant figure and it's pretty articulate and of course it is just a redeco slight retool of the scorpion off mold uh, so you've got full articulation you can hear these ratchets let's take this trident out rocketing around inside the shoulder joint you've already seen we've got the bicep flexion there the claws of course will open and close there is same in the legs these will come all the way up there's a knee tilt there you can see these will go all the way back let's put the knee back down um yeah it's incredibly poseable what we need to do now then let's have a quick look at him zoomed in so what i'm gonna do is just pick this up because i'm too far away to be honest and give you a proper look at the detail that we've got there the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic the guns the gold the whole color scheme um, to be honest i've not noticed the sticker sheets there mustn't be any stickers they must all be tamper graphed on and yeah he's very very imposing looks brilliant okay what i'm going to do i'm going to come back he's going to be in his one of his alternate modes and we'll have a look at that okay so as you can see this is his scorpion mode and um, i don't really think that this video is probably going to do any justice of just how big this is um i've actually read that this is the largest uh, beast mode or i suppose alternate mode maybe of a figure it's huge it really is uh, to give you an idea there's a little standard deluxe siege sort of side swipe standing there um yeah the length of this is just it's massive you know so he's as big as a claw literally as big as that um obviously as you can see he's not fully completely transformed there's just a few things that i wanted to show you first um so i suppose what we'll do is this part here i mentioned in the previous part of the video this will attach onto the back of where his head was you can see we've got two tabs here and if i can very carefully just turn him around a second because again there's some weight in this figure all right can we see there's two holes here right above my thumbs and that's where we're going to attach that it does act as i say like a cage when he's in his robot mode and of course it will help hold the head into place when it's in this mode so i'm just going to simply attach these and remember this is still the part that what that came separately in the packaging right what i think i'm going to do now very quickly because it seems to be balanced and you can see all right first i'm going to give you a bit of a size comparison with g1 so there is g1 scorpionock and i know obviously this is black zarek but i hope you'll all forgive me for not transforming my black zarek into scorpion mode for this particular video so you can see just how big he is but what i want to show you is that, um even though they don't really mention much about this guy being a headmaster of course he is um but what you could do with g1 you could either put zarek in the front there or you could ride of course in the suppose the chest cavity right inside there which I'm going to quickly do as well. But what you can do is you can do the same with this guy. So there he is. I've managed to put him inside there and he can drive it that way. So what you can do with this, it does mean just a small, just a teeny bit of detransformation or pulling it apart again. So if you just lift these up slightly, you can lift this up. And what you've got, yeah, you can just about make it out. So I've got the small Titan Master inside there. So this can be anyone, to be honest, and you can sit him in there and he actually fits let's have a look sits in place there no problem whatsoever and then we can just close this down over him and then just finish the transformation so he's going to pilot it that way and there's a much better version view sorry of where i attached that All right while i've got this here i need to tilt it back again a second there's another thing i need to show you quickly with the head and I'm not going to lie, this is quite tricky. This is, well, it really is quite fiddly, and especially if people haven't really got nails. So we've got the beautiful head sculpt here. What we need to do is we need to cover his face. So if we pull these bits out to the side, like so, not too far, because remember, this will transform. And then if I lift up under here, you can see 
you've got this additional gold part here. This is going to be a mask which is going to cover up his um yeah his face basically his facial features oh it doesn't matter if they come off because as i say it is you can transform it and in fact that might even make it a bit easier because what i've been struggling to do is to unhook this gold mask myself oh try it again there's a little tab here you can see see the tab underneath let's try and bring it up and over there we go it's pretty much gone but again we with no nails i struggle so i've just got fast tracks gun there that's better there it comes i've folded it over now i can just clip everything back in click that down and as you can see we've covered any facial features that we've got and even though we have took the little titan master 8 this will still attach into the front like so so let's put this here and as you can see he's really starting to take his awesome looking shape right now everything's so awkward when it's on its side there we go. You heard all that clicking. Good. Right. One final thing to do then. And we've got his, his trident or his tyrant spear. I keep calling it a trident because it reminds me of one. We're going to separate this. And what we've got here is we've got a five millimeter dowel or peg there. We've got a hole on the back of the tail like so. So this just makes his stinger look even more imposing. And then what I'll do in a second so I'm going to have to adjust the whole camera again. We're going to take the rest of this, separate it like so. So we've got two and we've even got some ports on here where we can put them safe. So I'm going to just attach the one and the holes are. There's a few of them here. You can choose exactly where you want them to go. So this one can just go there and then the space for the other on the other side. If I can see. Yep just got it you don't have to do that it's just a way of attaching everything to it apologies for that that didn't look too great when all you could see is him on his side but let's have a real detail look at him now inside this particular mode it's just so stunning and again hopefully you can sort of tell just the enormity i suppose is the best word of it because huge isn't the right word enormity is the best word it's massive and again i'll get a little siege side swipe and he is little compared to this guy. So he's probably what? One, two, three, four, five. He's probably a good maybe six, six lengths of these long. He's big, he's big in robot mode, but he's much, much bigger in this particular one. And I think, as I say, let's just give you a bit more of a zoom in on how good he looks. And then after this, we're going to come back. He's going to be in his base mode. Then we'll go back to robot mode and I'll do some actual comparisons with Black Zarek as well. And I'll put him up against his enemy because I've got him over here as well. I've got Grand Maximus there as well. So I'll put them up all against them. Right. Okay. Let's come back with him being in base mode. So here he is in his official base mode. And I say official base mode because there's been some brilliant fan made base modes as well, which I'll put in a separate video for you. I'm just going to move Zarek himself out of the way so we can have a look at this. Again, I don't think the video is going to do it justice is just how large this is. But I love the way they've used all the accessories and things were all tucked away again. So this was obviously all the back of his legs completely hidden in both of the previous modes. We've got the Tyrant Spear again split up into two to make the two towers. Same with the guns and of course the leg guards. The shield doubles up as the built brilliant tower at the back. It just looks really good. Um, this is in compared to, as I say, a deluxe size figure. It looks really well. Um, you can even take these off as well and put these as part of displays. I think it looks pretty good, actually, if you were to stick both of these up in the middle. Oh, I did have these up a second ago. Just as another bit of display. It just proves, again, just how functional this complete set is. All of these 5mm dowels holes will obviously work with the combat. Um, and as I say, the, the fossilizers, whatever you want to do, you can really, really power up this base and again make it very functional for playing what i want to try and do again is give you a bit of a size comparison between that and the original um, again i'm going to be using scorpionock and not black zarek i will be bringing black zarek in in a second but this is there's the g1 so you can pretty much make out and if i put this here it's got about a good you know good few inches extra to the side of it the g1 base mode was really long and again you've got the great details and homages all these fold out parts from the side 
let's go back to this particular one now and I'm, what i'm going to do i'm going to pick the camera up and we're going to have a detailed look flying over it all it's it's i don't don't want to say it's one of the weakest modes but the fact that it's got so much potential is probably the best word um, with the stuff that you've got, as I said in the first part, it looks really good. But then because of all of the um, dowels, holes, etc. And of course, all the additional parts that come like blast effects with the other figures, you can really make this. Um, but again, exactly that, a great playset. And again, I'll, I'll aim to do something in the future, just showcasing that and linking him up with some of the other uh, particular figures that were released at the time. Right, that's a look at, as I say, the two modes. We're going to come back now into robot mode, which is the way that I'm going to be displaying him. And we're going to do some more comparisons with original and newer figures. Right then, back for the final time in his robot mode. This is the way I'm going to be displaying him. So let's just do a few comparisons. And again, I hope I've managed to do this figure some justice in this video. He's simply stunning. I've said absolutely about 100 times, but I can't use any other stronger way to describe how good he is. He's, he's absolutely stunning. He's fantastic. There he is compared to the original owner of the mould. You can see again, he, I still love Scorponok. I love both of these. I'm totally biased. I completely admit it. But they just look brilliant. So that was Titan's Scorponok. What we'll do now is then Titan's Grand Maximus. So for those of you who don't know who he is, in the Super God Master Force cartoon, he had his mortal enemy. And that is this guy. Grand Maximus, which is, of course, a redeco, repaint and slight retool of Fortress Maximus. And them two look brilliant together. Again, this is a car exclusive, so it's nice. Um, he might get a standard release. I don't know now with, I suppose, how popular Black Zarek has been. But that is Grand Maximus. And again, he's got a giant sword. Um, what we're going to do now, then, this is... I've used him all the way through, so I might as well use him again quickly. There is standard Scorponok. And I suppose that gives you an idea of just how big these new Titan figures are. And then I'm going to probably hold this one as I'm doing it nice and carefully. Um, this is the original guy right there. Oh, yep, I'm definitely going to have to hold him and I'm probably going to close out holding him there. But there you go, guys. This is the Generation Select Black Zarek figure. And it's absolutely stunning, totally worth it if you can get your hands on it. I'd seriously consider looking into it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.